It's a mechanical Christ. Ooh. Thank you for the key, Jesus. Things jammed. I can't. Oh, it's all bloody locked. Okay, key then. Oh, what's this then? <laughs> and another one. Why the hell is this priest hiding these bloody code sheets for? Dickhead. Third one. And a fourth one. Oh, this thing's jammed. No, I can't move it, damn. I thought now I could move it, but no. Oh, this thing's <laughs> that works. To my successor, the Valentine Parish Priest, the sanct uh, the sanctify of confession, the sanctity of confession is a sacred vow. So these renovations are the result of much soul searching and reflection. One day in March 1938, Rudolf Vollberg knocked at my door. I was a young priest then and was overawed by the dominant personality of the town's most important figure. I know it was rain that day, and beneath his dripping hair, Monsieur Vogue's face was the very expression of eternal pain itself. Through grit the through gritted teeth his eyes swimmed with grief. He announced that his son Hans had just died. He wanted me to come immediately to bless the body. I entered the dark drawing room at the family home. Hans' coffin was set in the middle, sealed shut. Monsieur Valberg explained to me that he wanted no one to see the body of his son. Hans' badly mangled corpse had been discovered at the bottom of a precipice. It was presumed that he had slipped and fallen badly. Despite his 12 years, 18 years of age, the young Valberg did not have all his faculties. I believed him. I led the funeral and officiated the mass and burial. We buried Hans Roberg with all the dignity and solemnity befitting such a tragedy. Life indeed hangs by a thread and I would have surely forgotten this episode only several years later, after her father's death, Anna Roberg had an accident at the factory and nearly died. Such a close call with death seemed to have awakened in her need to confess. What I heard that day would haunt my dreams thereafter. She told me that the body of her younger brother Hans was not at rest in the family tomb for the simple reason that he was still alive. I had blessed and sanctified an empty coffin. I assisted and sanctioned a masquerade staged by Rudolf Volberg himself to exercise the blind hatred he felt for his son. The son had left and he felt betrayed. The man who preferred to believe and make others believe his son was dead rather than accept this truth had shamefully deceived me. What kind of priest was I? And what kind of priest will I become? Almost my father alone we judge. It is my duty to inform you that one of your flock is still unaccounted for. I leave this temple so oh. Don't tell me he killed someone and stuffed the body in there. Or does he mean that he's missing, therefore he's unaccounted for? It might be more than one draw it works on, but I doubt it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Didn't think so. But there we go, we've got a green card, a purple card, a red card, a blue card. At least they're coloured, but I mean... Doesn't help me too much. No point. Of course, it's locked. Nope. Nope. Okay. Huh. 
Okay, let's get back outside then. Hmm. Let's try to go to the other side of the building where there's probably the uh, the family crypt. Something tells me I'm going to have to stick my nose at the family crypt. Yeah, he probably means unaccounted for as in... Uh, he didn't bury the boy, he buried somebody else. <laughs> 